Um, Google Display Network is basically a bunch of websites that you can reach out to to um, put your ads up on. Um, specifically, I'm going to be focusing on using display ads, uh, so not text ads. Um, next one. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is ad scheduling. So what ad scheduling is, is an option that you can uh, enable on your campaigns. Um, and what that lets you do is it lets you target different times of day um, that you want to serve your ads. And uh, by doing this, you can weed out um, any times of day that you're really not, that you don't see your ads converting, things like that, um, basically to optimize your spending in your uh, AdWords campaign. And you can do that through um, your campaign settings. And then there will be a little tab right here called Ad Scheduling. You just click Edit. And then if you go to the next page, um, you will get this option screen here where you have all the days of the week and then little time slots um, hourly, I believe. And um, here you can basically just enable or disable um, the times that are working for you. Um, and some notes about ad scheduling. Um, it's based on your account time zone that you set it up as. So if you're, um, I'm not sure why you would necessarily do this, but if um, whatever your, your prime customer's time zone is, you might want to take that into account. Um, it basically, and some other things, don't do it on uh, your like, intuition, because you're going to get hammered if you do that. Um, look at data in the past of what times are converting well for you. And most importantly, AdWords does not provide time of day reporting. So you have to set up goals and analytics um, to actually view most of that. So um, that's kind of an important one. So, so. Um, Conversion optimizer. So conversion optimizer basically looks at the history of your conversions um, in AdWords. And in order to do this, you have to have had 15 conversions in the last 30 days. And then you can enable it through that same uh, campaign settings and in your bidding options. And then it'll show up in your campaigns. And you can enable a max uh, cost per acquisition. And uh, what doing this is going to do is basically um, Google's going to look at your history and attempt um, to uh, basically optimize your placement um, of your ads. So. All right, demographic bidding. So this is pretty straightforward. Um, you can basically serve your ads on the display network to um, sites that match up with your different uh, genders and um, tons of different options here. Um, you've got genders, age groups, and I think, yeah, that's pretty much it, actually. <laughs> so you've got those two. Um, and not all sites actually allow this. Um, so you have to check beforehand, and you can do that using Ad Planner, I believe. Um, so that's a good one if your your clients is specifically wanting to target any de uh, specific demographics. Um, ad Planner is this next one here, and what Ad Planner does is it shows you the different um, options that you have uh, of other websites in the uh, the display network, and it also in terms of um, display ads, it gives you ad sizes. So when you figure out uh, specifically what ad or what sites you want to be on with your ads, uh, it's good to look in here and find out um, specifically what sizes you need to make those. So this is kind of a good place to start when you're uh, reaching out into the display network. Um, it also gives you um, the potential reach and things like that. Um, Remarketing, okay, so um, Kent touched on this in the beginning. So remarketing, what this is, is it's uh, a way that Google gives you to try and um, convert people who made it partially way through your, your conversion paths. Um, and so for instance, down here, I use Golfsmith because I get this one a lot. If you put anything in your cart in Golfsmith, um, you're gonna see their ads everywhere. All over, all over the display network here. And so this was on ESPN, for instance. Um, and so it's a free service offered by Google. But in order to enable it, you have to have um, 500 people 
download the cookie. And what that means is that 500 people would have to um, make it partially through the checkout um, in order to opt into um, displaying your ads elsewhere on the display network. Um, and so, uh, if you go to the next one. Um, basically, in order to start doing this, you initially you'd have to get those 500 people. Um, Is there a time period, like a month? Within 30 days, yeah. Um, so, basically, to set this up, you would uh, create an audience list, and so in your camp, in your um, in AdWords dashboard here, you have the audience tab, and you'd go in there, add an audience. Next slide. <laughs> it's got a weak slide. Um, and then in here you would generate your tag, and um, this is basically making the cookie for you. Um, and you can set the, uh, the days, but I believe 30 is the max that you can do. Um, and so it's pretty simple. Next one. Um, right now, and so that's basically it. And then you can view, um, for instance, right here, it's just called audience in this example. But that would be your tracking of that, uh, that cookie specifically across the display network. So this maybe a stupid question, but you just put that snippet on the checkout page then? Yeah. Okay, and then it? I would pick it up from there. Okay. And so here's some of the benefits. Um, so basically, if you have a site that has a lot of visitors, this is, this is kind of a good place to um, Utilize it. If you have a site that's not getting a ton of visitors, it's not worth it because you're not going to get those um, 500 um, little snippets at the beginning to enable it really. Um, you also need a well defined purchase funnel so that um, you aren't losing people. Uh, you should probably have one, anyways. But. Um, and then also another thing is um, consider it basically like precision targeting. You can target different areas. Um, to bring your people through your ads as well. Um, so you could bring people back to your homepage, you could bring people back to specific product pages um, that they've previously looked at, and you can do this all through the cookie. Um, you can also bring people to specific landing pages or a contact page. Um, it, potentially any page that you want to. You could even bring them back to a shopping cart that they left on. Um, so.